Curriculum Radio. We tune in for you. And now, your Friday continues with laughs and news from all over the G4P verse and abroad. This is Rufflecast, your text to speech podcast with the Microsoft Bank. Hey guys, sorry about the delay with the new episode. We are still dealing with the Rex situation that has been going on since a couple of days ago. Now, we'll be talking about some random stuff, so let's go. All your favorite podcasts are in the right place. This is Curriculum Radio. The following program is rated 13. Well, good afternoon everyone. We're back with a new episode, and we're sorry again for the delay. Wow. Did you notice that there's this familiar intro playing at the start? What do you mean? Because I just realized that this is the exact same theme song that played on the Nairaja Ozzy TV fitness workout program. Ah, uh, yes. I get it. But I'm not a Hungarian person, if that's what you're thinking. But anyway, the reason why we delayed this episode is because of the Rex situation, and we're still trying to deal with this crisis. All we know so far that Rex this year is now a serial killer. So how many people did Rex kill? Three and a half. Mostly young women. Holy shnikes. Why would that craphead do that to these girls? He should be in prison for this. Wait, what do you mean three and a half? According to the curriculum blog, a 12-year-old schoolgirl was declared missing, last seen last night, just a few hours after Ariana's death. Police fear for her safety and are concerned that Rex may have kidnapped her. Jeez Louise. If she dies as well, it would make things much worse. But did you guys realize that Lolly Universal's sock puppeteer was causing trouble in Yellow Cast yesterday? Wait a minute. What was he doing in there? Don't worry, Wally. Molly McGee already took care of him. Chuck and his team have disposed of the body and dumped it into a river so the police won't know about it. I swear to God, if DJ Adventure Vlog suck puppeters find out what happened, we're dead. Too late. They already have. Matthew the Master Channel is furious at all of you for murdering one of BJ Adventure Vlog's greatest saviors. I didn't even kill that imposter. Molly did! Exactly! It was self-defense. This was the only way to bring down BJ Adventure... Vlog's worthless sock puppet mafia. Matthew the Master Channel declares this crime you committed completely unacceptable and provocative, and he is there for grounding you for life. But stupid! Grounded threats don't work! She's right. Please leave, before I call security. Not until there's justice. Revive Wally Warner immediately or Matthew the Master Channel will do it himself with the Project 17 experiment. Don't you even think about it. Take that. Wow. Not again. I hope you're sorry for this, you crap heads. Sorry about that. Typical protester being angry for no reason. Anyway, let's talk about something that I think you guys are already aware of. But for those who don't know, it has been confirmed that curriculum is going to be renamed back to G4PTV by April 12th. Wow. So the G4PTV name is really coming back? I thought it was an April Fool's joke. Well yeah, but it turns out it's the real thing. The reason why the change is happening is because of the educational channels that use the word curriculum, which is confusing and it is not recognizable enough, so this is why we're bringing the G4PD's name back after a four-month hiatus. But wait, what about curriculum radio? Should it be renamed back to G4PFM or change it to Galaxy Radio? 
I don't know if we should rename it to Galaxy Radio due to trademarking issues, because most radio stations already use that name, so we're sticking with G4PSM. Or I don't know. It depends on what you think. But yeah, the revival of G4PDD is due to take place next Friday, so don't miss out on that. Anyway, let's read some questions to make the time fly by. Oh. My. God. There are so many questions this time that I don't know if we could read out every single of them. But oh well, we'll just do it anyway. Simplays23 asks, what's your favorite Sony Pictures Animations movie? 2. What's your opinion on Fetch with Ruff Ruffman? 3. What's your life like with technology? 4. What's your opinion on Kingsman the Secret Service? 5. What's your thoughts on American Dad? 6. Do you miss the Curriculum Radio Music Station? 1. Spider-Man, Across the Spider-Verse. 2. It's okay. 3. Like living in the future. 4. Never watched it but still cool I guess. 5. It's really funny. 6. I don't really mind saying goodbye to it, actually. Gabriel Animates asks, 1. Do you watch Tomato Sauce videos? 2. Should we use Serpentine Bold Italic as new font for curriculum? 3. Wanna hear Forever Friends by Meals? 4. Lumetion Yellowverse, and later G4P Verse? 1. Yes. 2. I don't know. 3. Not really. 4. Oh wait what? Brian Animates asks, Scotty, why are you sometimes acting weird? Depends on what folk! Oh my god! Oh yes! Um, what the hell just happened? Question 2. Have you guys been in a some type of concert? I have. In a rock concert, that is. It's my rock on the floor, I ain't gonna live forever. Now cut that out. Question 3. Do you all watch Jack Paul TV? Why, of course we do. Question 4. What are your favorite restaurants? McDonald's, because I'm loving it. Question 5. Are you all excited for TVG 1994's Big Brother? Yes. Oh wait, it's already here. In the Go Animate asks, Hey Mike, Mary, Scotty, Wally and Anna, what is your favorite YouTuber? Do we really have to say it again? Question 2. What is your thoughts on Markiplier? He's really funny, especially when he plays Five Nights at Freddy's. Question 3. Hey everyone, are you still upset that the Cuphead show hasn't been renewed? Yes, and I'm furious there's no new season yet. I mean, come on Netflix. Make up your mind. Question 4. Do you guys miss Google Podcasts? Yes. Although it was already shut down five days ago. In the US, at least. Question 5. Hey Scotty, do you like Mike as a positive relationship? No, because Mike keeps firing me all the time. Crap head, crap head, crap head, crap head, crap head, crap head. Ow, roll, 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 Shadow Hunter 580 asks, what's your favorite anime? One Piece. Question 2. Have you guys heard that the sequel Godzilla vs. Kong is getting a new sequel in the Godzilla franchise which is a part of the monsterverse called Godzilla x Kong, the new empire? Wow. I didn't know that. When is it coming? Actually, Sam, that movie already just came out last week. Oh. Question 3. What's your favorite food brand? Um, yeah. That's our favorite food brand for whatever reason. Question 4. What are your thoughts on the new Magmine sequel and its animated series? For me it's terrible. For once, we agree. Question 5. Do you guys think CN should stop airing TTG with their annoying <laughs> marathons all the time? Obviously. In fact, they should cancel that show and remove it entirely. Question 6. 
Do you think Finney Sandford, Gravity Falls and other Disney Channel or Disney XD should have more seasons than Spongebob? Yeah, because, if these shows still exist, they would last way longer than Spongebob does. Question 7. What's on your thoughts on the new Mega Mind 2 sequel and the new series? It freaking sucks. You can say that again. Galactic Warrior 9 asks, can you do an interview with Sonic Rose about how he feels now that Forks is gone? Actually, I don't think we can interview him, because he's in the Big Brother house at the moment. Oh sphincter. Anyway, here's the next question. Guys. I've got a recording of Agent Natasha reacting to the news about Chuck. This isn't a prank. Do you wanna hear it? Hey, that's not funny. The FBI is going to get you for this. Who asked you? Pixel Noob Kim 55 asks, Sam, what is your opinion on Chuck? He's cool, that's it. Question 2. Mike, what is your favorite movie? Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery, because it's a funny movie. Question 3. Mary, which is better, Viand or Plotigan? Viand is good, I guess. Question 4. Anna, what country have you and Sam been in your honeymoon? Um. Up. Uh, ERM. Damn it. I can't remember. Final question. Scotty, what is your opinion of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? It's a really fun game to play with my friends. And if you have any more questions, then as always, leave a comment down below. Now, with that being said, let's head to Harvey for the G4B verse news. What the hell? What's going on? Sorry I interrupted your shift, but I want all of you to listen very carefully and don't bother interrupting me. What do you think you're doing? I was just about to do the news here. Actually, I got bigger news for you. You're all dead meat. Dead meat? What have we done wrong? Isn't this about the Rex Sincere situation? Not him. It's BJ Adventure Vlog. Really? Him again? Every time we do a podcast, it's always about him. So what kind of trouble did he cause this time? It's not BJ Adventure Vlog who is in trouble, it's you lot. Because you still refuse to change the G4 PTV name back to curriculum, and it's pissing all the BJ Adventure Vlog sock puppeters off. So please change that stupid name back to what it is. Too late, too late. The decision, the decision, was, decision already was already made. 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 Curriculum, Curriculum is renaming back to G4ETV on April 12th, and there is there nothing, is you, nothing can you can do to stop, to stop it. it. And if nobody likes the change, it's their opinion. I don't care. Norman is making a big mistake. And if he keeps the G4PTV name, there will be consequences. But the real reason why curriculum is changing its name back to G for PTV because the curriculum name was trademarked with other YouTube channels that used its name, which is why it is reverting back to the old one. She's right. She's right. BJ, BJ Adventure, Adventure Vlog and, and his sock puppeteers should stop pestering Norman into these ridiculous, ridiculous decisions, decisions because, because they can't they control can't or control manipulate his life. Bullshit. Just change the name back to curriculum immediately. Or what? You around us? No, worse, execution by hanging. What? Execution by hanging? No 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 Yes 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 That is completely unacceptable Take that take that Sorry about that. Anyway, with a protester gun, we may now begin the news. Alright, our leading story today. The new episode of Universal Television Logo Bloopers will be premiering tomorrow. 
I already explained the plot for the new episode and it will be out after Em and Shrek. The life of Emily and Trevor will be out at a later date. In the meantime, a new episode of TEG 1994's NBC logo bloopers will be shown after Yellow Cast on Curriculum. That is all for now. Thank you, Hardy. And that is all we have for today's episode. We'll be back again at the usual time. Hey, what's happening? I think the power just went down again. Crap. It's probably just maintenance work. It will come back up eventually. Actually, I don't think maintenance caused this power cut. It was deliberate. Deliberate? What do you mean by deliberate? Apparently Matthew the Master Channel turned off the electricity in retaliation for Molly killing Wally Warner, also known as BJ Adventure Vlogs Sock Puppet. Oh my. This just never ends, does it? Don't forget it, we'll hire an electrician to fix the electricity in the building. But anyway, stay tuned for a 50th episode of Yellowcast coming up next. See you soon, guys. Curriculum Radio was owned by Curriculum Entertainment and all of its content belongs to their respective owners. All rights reserved.